Okay, uh, oh, good morning. Well, uh, browsing the Twitch forums and bought another good, uh, bought another good topic. Uh, written by a guy named Lord Reginalds. That's even, that's how it's pronounced. Um, a bit of motivational tips for you guys who might be thinking, why bother streaming when no one ever shows up? Um, on my Twitch bio, I actually, um, I actually wrote a variation of this. Uh, as in, as in, yeah, but you don't you hardly get any viewers, Joe. Why even bother streaming? Well, uh, so after seeing this, uh, after seeing this topic, it's a, I thought it'd be pretty uh, worthwhile to comment on. And before I forget, I'll go ahead and like that. And uh, I'll do like I usually do. Just go on the topic list and just comment on everybody. And like always, I'm not I'm not trying to call anybody out. Not trying to embarrass anybody or anything like that. It's just it's one it's um I get a lot of inspiration from reading other people's posts and two it, it's a lot easier for me to talk it out than it is to type it out I mean I already do enough typing as it is you know like typing down my stream description and then gotta gotta type down my go live notification and then I gotta I gotta go on Twitter and then I gotta type down you know they're gonna type down this and then I gotta you know, then after I, after my Path of Exile session is over, then I gotta type down my blog post and all that. And if there's any screenshots and, you know, screenshots and videos I have to upload, et cetera, et cetera, I gotta, we're gonna type all that down too. So I do enough, enough typing as it is. Sometimes I just wanna speak. So that being said, um, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep my, uh, I'm, trying to avoid another 45 minute to hour and a half uh, twitch video um i'm gonna go ahead and use an egg timer and this is my first time doing this so i'm gonna set it to i'm gonna set it to 10 minutes starting now so why ever bother streaming Honest with ourselves to something at some point. Uh, yes, for me, at times currently not. I stream Hearthstone when I made the switch to Destiny 2. I lost all my viewers. Uh, been there. Usually when I stream Path of Exile in the evenings, very few people show up. Like one or two at the most. On the other hand, if I'm streaming Pinball Arcade in the mornings, or U.S. Central, U.S. Central time in the mornings, um, I get a fair amount of people that show up, especially, uh, just before I have to shut down the stream at 7 a.m. because I got other stuff I have to do. So, been there. Why well, didn't you just keep... Play something that can entertain you. Uh, I made another video that was, that was along the same vein as this. Um, streaming is as much for me as it is for anybody else who wants to come visit. So, it, I don't... I mean, streaming is not purely altruistic with me. I mean, I gotta get some kind of enjoyment out of it as well. It, otherwise, it's just plain drudgery. I mean, I mean, I for at least half my life, I've already worked jobs that were in service to the customer, or the customer pays our bills, or the customer is the most important person in the store. You know, stuff like that. So it'd be kind of nice. It'd be kind of nice to come in and do something that I enjoy once, and not just. You know, being the being the step and fetch or whatnot for customers, you know, so the customer service thing. So, I mean, didn't have that much flame play Hearthstone anymore, and I've been I've been here too. Uh you started by streaming Diablo three, got burned out on it, got burned out on it, so I switched to wanted wanted a different change of base, so I played Final Fantasy fourteen for about a year, but. After about a year, it basically turned into World of Warcraft, which is... I never streamed it, but I played for four and a half years. I ended up quitting it because the end game to me is the end of the game. Uh, just like Final Fantasy XIV, there really isn't nowhere to go. Except um, end game crafting, end game gathering, and end game, uh, end game raiding. Just like WoW. So, nowhere to go after that. Which... So, now I'm playing Path of Exile, so like I said... Or just like he said, I've gone through the same thing too. It just wasn't fun anymore, so I switched games. So, oh, this was tip one. Duh, right in my face. 
play something that can entertain you. That's, like I said before, I mean, streaming is as much about me as, about it, as it is about anybody else. Uh, tip two. Except that you're, except that you're not going to be the next big thing, especially in this day and age where tons of people stream. I mean, there are a lot of streamers out there. Hell, AGDQ alone, you can probably get at least 100,000 viewers. That's where they're all going to be. So, I mean, you're, everybody's trying to fight for their little little slice of the pie. I mean, so, that, there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of competition, for lack of a better word. There's a lot of competition for getting those viewers. You know, there's, there's uh, too many, I mean, way too many fishermen after that one big fishing spot where all the fish are. You know, it, it's a lot of struggling going on. So, no, you're not going to, you're not going to be the next big thing. There's way too much, too much out there. We were talking about a one in a thousand, if not lower chance of making a living using Twitch, YouTube, etc. Uh, totally agree with this. Just the fact alone that I make a, for me to do this, I would have to make at least 1500 a month just on donations alone. And I don't really see that happening. Just do it for fun and don't see a progression as a grind. Yep, which, again, the main reason I stream is kind of my outlet to the outside world because at work, I hardly talk to anybody. Uh, I hardly talk to anybody in my family either except maybe visit my mom every one or two weeks, and that's about it. So streaming gives me streaming gives me my window to the outside world. At the same, at the same time, the getting out there and meeting people, it, it just goes over my head. Kind of creepy, you know, like... Like just going out to a bar just for the sole purpose of meeting people. I know if I heard if I was at a bar and somebody said that, oh, I'm just out here to meet people. Uh, I, I kind of like start backing away from them slowly, you know, a little creepy. But I only got about five minutes left, so let me move right along. Uh, tip number three: don't push yourself to stream. Uh, this is probably a weakness of mine because, again, I'm pretty much my entire life is on a set routine, uh, even on my even on my off nights, I have an agenda. I've got an agenda. I got to keep there's stuff I want to do. There's I do certain things at certain times, so I only have a limited time slot to stream at certain times of the day. So this is probably my weak point right here, where I have to kind of, yeah, you know, I got an open, I got an open window here. I got to get some streaming going. So otherwise, I ain't gonna be able to do it for the rest of the day. So this is probably a weakness of mine. Some days are better than others. Okay, now this I agree with right here. It's extremely easy for a person who lives off Twitch to say, gotta stick to your schedule. I mean, all too easy when you're, you know, when a streaming is paying all your bills. Do all stuff we gotta do on the side, whether we work, family. But like I said, this is a weakness of mine. Uh, five minutes left, let me uh, continue on down. Um... If you want to become a full-time streamer, then yes. But if not, if it's therapeutic, then no, that doesn't matter. Again, the uh, consistent stream schedule is something that comes naturally to me. As I said before, my whole life is on a set routine. So I only have certain time slots to do certain things. Uh, bother streaming and when no one ever shows up start again if you're if you're if you're hoping to make money off of this then uh yeah I can see it being an issue but again this is therapy to me so less effective again if you're if you're again if you're uh, looking for if you're looking to make a living off of doing this then yes it's not very effective again kind of getting stuck in this paragraph like I said uh, this is my first time doing this normally I like to take my time and and all that but yep ding 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 streaming for Ponzi you don't need tips because you're just doing this for Ponzi's yep I mean if you play games you enjoy the viewers I 
Uh, yeah, minus four points. No surprises there. Make a YouTube and collect bait invest. This is literally 101 on how to not economics. Bingo. $20 will get you. Okay, they're going to be going back and forth on that one. Uh, playing with zero viewers. Uh, as a side note, as a side note, one thing, uh, one piece of advice I do want to give to anybody, turn your viewer count off. That, that helps. That helps because at, uh, back when I used to do it on a stream on a PS4, I had the viewer count over there. If it said zero viewers, I was putting in zero effort. But when I saw a viewer on there, bing, I'm in entertainment mode, and, and you know, hey, welcome to the stream, blah, 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 blah. And if that, if that person was a lurker, and I just basically called him up, pew, he was gone. So turn the viewer count off. It allows you to be more natural. Um, kind of a strange corollary to that. you got to learn on the acoustic before you learn on the electric. Sorry if that doesn't make any sense. And it looks like in a few seconds here, my uh, egg timer is about to go off. There it goes. All right, well, that'll do it. I did the best I could, try to get everything I could in 10 minutes, so, well, uh, that'll work. Uh, and thanks for watching. Take care and see you next time.